Hi guys, my name is Adam. I just wanted to show you today how I exchange my AC for a proper heat pump. It's a, it's a air conditioning right behind me. It's a um, Heiko 7 kilowatts um, on cooling power or 24 BTU if you're more familiar with and uh, 8 kilowatts heating power or 27 ish uh, BTU um, so actually it's not really too much saying about this unit this outdoor unit right here so I want you to take you to the basement and I will show you how I solve this so um, this is a, this is just for an example it's a inside unit um, which I stripped down not quite this one just the uh, same one from the Heiko um, I just strip it down and I just swap this for the um, heat exchanger water um, gas let's go to the basement then so we are in the basement I know it might look a little bit funny now um, but this is a this is a pipe heat exchanger and I just make it by myself just for the for the test for the trying um, to know it will gonna work if it's if, is it gonna be efficient and and you know stuff like that. I will explain you everything what it, what we have here. So starting from the beginning, we have the main board from the inside unit. As I said before, inside unit was stripped down, and this is the parts from it. Um, it might look a little bit. Um, not easy to understand what is going on here but uh, trust me this is very very simple um, because it's been stripping down and you put it just like that for the tests it, it looks it looks um complicated but it's not but um leave that go further we have we have the um the gas pipes over there as you can see and the gas pipes goes here inside the tube or a pipe whatever you want to call it so in here we have a pipe and um, plastic pipe and uh, and this pipe inside I will show you that so have a look another pipe I've been talking about this one another pipe goes over here it's a copper pipe with the gas from the from the AC unit outside and it goes all the way here right and it goes to the plastic pipe in here in this plastic pipe we have a water flowing flowing in that all circle and uh, and this copper pipe goes in the middle in that pipe so the heat is exchanged for the from the gas to heat the water and of course the other thing is it goes all the way through the um, heating system in a house so you can get a hot maybe not hot but warm water to heat your um, floor heating as as the um, um, heat pump normally do so um, it's running very slow now, so it's getting um, 36 degrees right now um, because it's um, it's quite quite warm right now, and um, I don't need any more temperature right here. Although I don't have a heating floor, uh, I have radiators, but it's but it's only used for the upstairs where it's quite quite warm. So, so so it's that temperature is quite enough for the radiators to to heat up even in my um region where I live in I live in Poland so maybe um, most of you uh, might know it's not a, it's not the hot country you know what i mean um anyway um uh, I, I will do some floor heating to you know to to heat all my house with this um, but for now, I have I had to just for the tests. I just concentrate on the 
on a, on a radiators and um, we have nearly end of the season hitting season now and I can I can tell you it it does it, it, it do a great job to be fair and um, and I will go further with the with this project I will replace this this hit um, this sorry this pipe heat exchanger with the proper one the plate heat exchanger so so this um, UFO as I as I normally call it will gone <clears throat> actually it will be used for the for the other project but um, yeah, if you want to know more, let me know in the comments. Probably I'm going to do some more um, movies about it because, um, you know, this needs to some explanation and probably most of you want to know how to do it. I can tell you right now straight away, it's not, it's not complicated. You don't even need to solder anything, to be honest. So it, it, it's, it's quite easy. It's quite really easy, really. Okay. <laughs> I've been stressing, I've been stressing about this for the whole day today, so forgive me for my language and my grammar and all stuff like that. I hope you like it. Cheers, guys.